second half of this morning's session is by, by myself. I will be talking about uh, uh, rights of the repository of interactive social assets for learning. RISO is um, started as a teaching and development um, project that was funded by Faculty of Education and the members of the project are myself, Professor Nancy Law and Dr. Yan Wan Alst and Ms. Uh, Wing Wong. And now I managed to solicit uh, collaboration of people across the university and we will have uh, uh, Dr. Diana Salter and uh, Benny, Benny Tai joining our project. We will develop the system further to involve um, things such as e-portfolio and so on. Now project objectives. So we want to collect a, a platform that would allow collection, management, sharing of digital assets developed by our community. But not just assets that are developed by our community, but also the but the stuff that is found as useful by our community, for example, the stuff they find on the internet, they want to catalog and deposit in a system. Uh, this system essentially is about uh, supporting teaching and learning. Maybe uh, you can organize re resources and later use them into your course uh, pages in uh, learning management systems, or you might want just to subscribe the resources to the students or group of the group of the students, individual students, so on. All of these things will become much clearer when I start uh, demonstrating the system to you. Rather than being just a place to drop off and pick up the stuff, we want the repository to actually be a community center where people come and collaborate and connect with each other. And we also want this uh, platform to be a platform for conversation about resources, about possible pedagogical strategies for the use of resources. The key idea that we borrow from Web2 is that here on Web2 you have uh, basically thousands and millions of the in ordinary internet users who develop a content such as blog posts, uh, videos, uh, presentations and so on and on on the internet. And now the challenge is, the challenge is really how, how to select useful stuff from this wealth of information on a, available on the internet. And uh, similar things is happening in educational institution. The teachers regularly, every day, basically, they're developing some notes or some PowerPoint presentations. Students are finding useful stuff on the internet, and they all they develop their own stuff. And now we currently we're not uh, kind of collecting this material, and we do not have strategy for reuse of this material. What is happening now in learning management system? The people can just. Uh, upload the resources into their own course spaces and resources often be, uh, remain buried in those course spaces accessible only by the students enrolling in particular course. So what we want to is really to create a platform for teachers to um, have opportunity to share the resources and for students also to share the resources and access the resources from others. Uh, in developing of RISEL, we we're building on particular these three ideas from the web too. First idea is a social bookmarking. Social bookmarking, um, then social networking, and social repository. Social bookmarking is like site, some of you may have accounts in a site such as Delicious, delicious.com, that allows you to, uh, to store your bookmarks. So rather than storing the bookmarks on a local machine, you store this bookmark on, a, on this internet tool and then you can access your bookmark from anywhere, anytime, anywhere in the world, and you can also share the bookmarks with, uh, uh, with other people, such as your students or colleagues. In addition, you can tag, the, tag your bookmarks, means uh, you attach the, a keywords describing what the bookmarks mean in your own uh, uh, way, and you can also provide some uh, some uh, comments. Also, the similar system, such as another similar system, is Dico, or for example, something more academic. We have site you like where people uh, bookmark academic articles, then the references articles, they tag them, and site you like, for example, allows you to export uh, uh, the bookmarks in a, in a form suitable for EndNote and reference, like the referencing. The variety of the social bookmarking stuff that we reviewed on the internet to get an idea how we can actually develop a system to, that is useful for, for us. 
There are things like highlighter, add tags, click marks, annotate, and so on and on. The second idea of social repository, we're building on ideas of YouTube, what that allows you to, to upload the videos and share them with, uh, with people. Then we have things like Flickr, where you can share the images. Slideshare, where you uh, share PowerPoint presentations that, that gets uploaded and then converted into flash format. Audio, where you share the audio file. So we want to actually create, create a platform that is not disintegrated, that you can share only one type of media or bookmarks or resources, but actually something that you can share everything that we develop in an educational institution. Final component that we're building on, and this needs further work, but we have started with integrating some of these features in our system, is from social networking, borrowing ideas from Facebook, or borrowing ideas from the largest collective activity in the world, eBay, or ideas from Friendster, MySpace, and all these other social networking uh, tools. Now, this is the interface of the repository, so I will uh, go to demonstrate to you how it works. So when you get to the, the, the site, the address of the site is risel.site.hku.hk. I will display the address uh, again later on. When you get to this address, this is what you see. Basically, there is a list of resources that's been recommended by various people. And there are the, the things like uh, interactive learning object, for example. There are things like web bookmarking and stuff on the internet, like you find a useful website out there that you want to bookmark, because in that way we are actually creating a sub-collection of the internet as perceived as useful by our community. We have PDF file, and you see that the things like these icons here, maybe some of you know about this, maybe some of you don't know, but this is we think that this is very important in contemporary time, because uh, uh, the corporate, traditional corporate regulations are not really fully relevant to how people use the content and what they do with the digital tools. So traditional corporate uh, uh, regulations needs to be uh, revised, expanded, and one way to do that is uh, through so-called creative common. So if you would provide a piece of content online and you want to share this content, then we're giving you option to define how you, as a creator, as an author of the content, we're giving you option how you want to share that content. Uh, in this, the system actually allows you to uh, decide whether you want to make a con something public or whether you want to keep it private for yourself or whether you want to share with the particular groups. So I will show you that in a moment. Another important thing in a repository is this area here. And these are so-called tags. This whole thing is called cloud of tags. Cloud of tag. this is the, when you upload a resource or when you save a bookmark, then you would attach some keywords describing what it means to you. And on, as we're collecting the bookmarks from these uh, tags from many different people, we're slowly developing a cloud of tags that then can be used to discover useful resources later on. So you can, for example, click on something called education, and that will display a subset of these resources for you.